What up, y'all? It's your man, Wolf of Wine. Once again, coming to you live from Burgundy. I'm here in Merceau to host an end of harvest party to end all end of harvest parties. You feel me? Something like this has never been done. You know, usually when they have an end of harvest party, it's like opera, classical music, or, you know, maybe some jazz if they feel a little frisky. But this is the very first wine and hip hop party ever in Burgundy. So come with us watch history. The time of harvest is determined by the ripeness of the grape, by the sugar, the acidity, the tan levels, and that's a winemaker decision. They're going to pick based on the style of wine that they want to produce. You have an idea of when that's going to be, but never exactly. So you really got to pay attention and pick at that right moment to get to work on that vintage that's going to speak for you and your community throughout history. All of these factors are determined 100% by terroir, or all of the growing conditions that the vines were in over the course of the year, which is 100% dictated by the weather. And as you know, it's kind of bugging right now. Last year's harvest was especially rough. So I'm sure everybody was on pins and needles for the entire growing season. And just like hip hop, wine is all about repping your hood. That vintage represents the work that everyone in that region has put in over the course of the year. A good vintage represents everyone in that community. So when this year's harvest turned out much better than last, there was only one way to celebrate with hip hop. I think it's so vibrant and so vital. I mean, I live just down the street and like when I saw that this was happening, I was like, absolutely, I gotta be there. But I think globally speaking that Influences like this of a bridging, you know, hip hop community with the vine, the ancient tradition. I mean, you're talking an ancient land here of Druids, Romans, modern day winemakers, and then having this influence now of actually the real point of modernity of hip hop and the confluence of style, design, and cool, all ingredients coming together through history to be at this very cool breaking point of what the fresh kind of boundary frontier is, both in wine and of culture, music, expression. It's it's the apogee. You don't it's want it's no fun. problems. I ain't no song from the projects to Provence, Burgundy to the Bronx, the town's favorite. You can't hate it, my presence in these spaces alone is groundbreaking. Well, for myself, I harvest uh, 13 days, so it was very long, yeah. and uh, now this is really the end, and this party is just great, and the, one, the people want just now to dance and to relax and to enjoy, and this is a great time for the herd. I feel like everybody's having fun. I feel like uh, it's one of the biggest, biggest year we ever had in Burgundy, and everybody needed to party, and uh, everybody's yeah, enjoying the party. It's wonderful to uh, acknowledge how much work goes and passion goes through making all these beautiful wines and how much, uh, how dedicated every single winemaker is and how much uh, of their knowledge and their passion and their work they're willing to share. It's important to, for them to sometimes every now and again just step outside of that world to see what, what lies and what lives outside of and, and the one great thing that, you know, nothing says love like wine, food and music. Also, you know, we're coming right out of the harvest. We had a big harvest, um, a bumper crop in Burgundy, so everyone's high on that a little bit. You know, every vessel that everyone has around here is full of wine and grapes, and, you know, they're just um, thrilled about that, and so I think there's a really good energy. It's the end of the harvest. It's it's, yeah, it's a joyful, celebratory time. I think it's such a fertile ground, not just for the vine, but in terms of just the mentality. And um, I think this is just par for the course of what should be happening all the time and what I think will be happening all the time. So. All right, y'all, you know what we do. Grand opening, grand closing. I told y'all we was going to make history, and I think we made history tonight. What y'all think? We made history tonight or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yup, that's Burgundy, this is wine and hip hop, end of the show, man. Thank y'all for coming out. Thank all y'all for coming out. Yes, and this is what we do, baby. Love y'all.